Hey guys, today on Kakiak, we're actually building a very unique kayak trailer from the ground up. As you can see, we, we stripped down a, uh, an old kayak trailer that we had that was uh, kind of uh, clunky, a little unuseful. And today, Rob and I are going to build you a new one, so stay tuned. Alright guys, we're going to walk you through the uh, the construction of the uh, trailer that we're making now. We've stripped out the old trailer and um, what you're seeing is kind of the bare bones at this point. It's a single wide jet ski trailer. What we've done is we have stacked up two 4x4s two, uh, four on the bottom to lift it off from the, from the tires. And now we have a sheet of plywood that's going down. That's going to be the flooring of the trailer. We're actually going to create a drawer that's going to sit there. We're going to have two 4x4s to form the vertical portion of our trailer, a cross piece, and then two by fours that are going to have a, uh, create our arms. We should be able to put four kayaks on there, um, stack two on top of each other, and the drawer should be uh, deep enough and long enough. It should be about eight feet long that we can have uh, fishing gear in there, put your rods, your reels, and then any... Uh, miscellaneous gear you may have like your PFD or something like that so we'll keep going on this and we'll keep you updated as we move forward All right, guys, you can actually see our first side going on here. Um, so what we've done is, is we haven't put this together fully, so I just want to show this before we go through the next step. But uh, our sides are going to even up down here at the bottom. We've got some uh, two by fours cut down so that we can also fit our top seal on here, our top plate. So everything's going to marry up together really nicely. Um, we're going to use three inch screws or actually two and a quarter uh, inch galvanized screws to pull all this stuff together. And you can actually see right down the side how this box is starting to come together all right so one good idea that rob had on this build uh just the only one we've had so far hey, <laughs> best one ever, is adding vents right here um these are just floor basin vents shower basin vents we're able to cut that out put those through and uh and and just bend the tabs back so that's going to help this thing uh breathe not collect mold when we seal it up because we're actually going to put construction adhesive in here seal up the back using some type of uh, uh strip weather uh, weather stripping and this thing will be nice and sealed but we still want to be able to get that guys the purpose of this right here is to make sure that the 4x4 sits very snugly within this uh, top seal plate um, this is going to help with some movement so as soon as it sits down into our hurricane ties you can see right here on the base uh, that top plate is going to be up here and then a 2x4 is going to go across and it should give us a lot of support when trying to support a uh, kayak up high in a uh, second level position how's it going Rob doing great <laughs>
we are moving forward with the trailer build and it's coming along but we're losing daylight unfortunately so at this point we've had our uh, we have the box built we've closed it up on three sides we've left one side open where we're going to put a, um, a door so that we can utilize it for storage of all our gear Corey squaring everything up we're gonna have room for four boats two on top two on the bottom and that'll be our spot for all of our uh, accessories and gear so it's coming along well we thought maybe we we're gonna have an opportunity to finish it up tonight I just don't think we will Corey what do you think how's it going it's going great I think it's gonna be a uh, success wise words from a wise man but we're gonna keep uh, plugging away at it and hopefully by the end of the weekend we will have all it's our done, stuff folks good. the official khaki act trailer uh, I know you're probably looking at the shirt and those are available for sale on Facebook, but come check it out. So here we have our trailer. It's got room for four boats. We'll be able, we actually tried this out with the, uh, the Pursuit, which is about 36 inches wide, and it really hardly hangs off to the side at all. The box that you see underneath, it's about eight feet long, so it's gonna be plenty long enough to store our rods. There's a couple of things that haven't get put on yet, last minute touches where we're gonna put in some eye bolts, so that we can strap up the uh, the boats down. We'll have one here, probably one in here. Make sure the strap's nice and tight. Four by fours <coughs> supporting this thing. And another four by four cross piece across the top makes it super stable. We have the drawer here. And you can see right now it has some scrap wood in it, but we've put some one by in here so that I can slide a drawer in there. Probably be able to easily hold uh, six rods or so. This side's gonna be empty, so that way I could throw all my gear in there. I could put some PFDs in there. Heck, if we're going camping, put whatever we want in there. And we'll probably put a drawer or something we can slide out um, because I can't reach all the way back there. And it's probably against the law to throw my kids in the back just to remove items. <clears throat> Total build, about 250 bucks when we're talking about the cost of the wood and the hardware. The trailer, when I bought it, was about $300 a year ago. So all in, I'm probably about 550 bucks or so which isn't too bad for, for this. I feel real good about it. Corey was, uh, was able to help really engineer the heck out of this thing. <clears throat> it's gonna be uh, hopefully on the water tomorrow and we can always throw a little post on there to let you know how it goes. But overall, I am extremely pleased with it. I can't wait to get it on the water, go fishing. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget, Kakiak Apparel. See you soon.